All right. So you have mixed your colors, specifically your tints and your hue. And now you're ready to begin um, painting. Okay, so one of the first things you need to do is pick the right brush, okay? So we have round brushes and we have flat brushes. Round brushes refer to the, the round and flat refer to the shape of the ferrule. So the metal part is the ferrule. And when it's round, that's called a round brush. And when it's flat, that's called a flat brush. So the bristles are arranged in a flat versus a round. Okay, so you need to think about that. And then you need to think about the size. So um, small areas, you're gonna need a small brush. Larger areas, you want a large brush. Makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna be doing mostly a larger area up here. So I don't need a tiny brush. I also don't want a huge brush either. So a um, medium size flat is probably what's gonna be a good size for me for most of this. I can switch between a smaller and a larger if I choose. I'm gonna go with this guy. This feels right to me. It's good. I kind of like the angle of it there. Okay. So I'm gonna start with my lightest tint up here at the top. So I'm gonna get my lightest tint and I'm going to begin painting with that. So I don't need paint all over my brush, all over the bristles. I just need it at the tip, okay? And I'm going to come and begin drawing a line of paint within this little section here, using the edge of my brush to come right along that edge. Once I've made a wall of paint around the area that I want it to go in, then I'm going to begin filling in those gaps. So I can see all this area here is my lightest tint. And I'm going to start painting now. The battery on my iPad is going to give out soon, but I want to go a little bit to show you. So now that I've kind of got that large area painted, I'm now going to go back and forth with these smooth brush strokes. You can see that I'm getting good coverage, but it's not complete coverage. You're probably going to need two, three, maybe even four coats of this. The good thing about acrylic though, is that it dries really fast. So within five minutes, this will be dry enough for you to be able to do a second coat. I also want to encourage you not to paint wet next to wet. So I'm gonna let this area dry before I try to paint my next tint around it. So here's video number one about you painting. Please watch the other videos as well because I want to talk with you about painting your brushes properly, okay? See you soon. Oh, one thing before I let you go. If ever you feel out of control with your paint, like you can't control where it's going, it might mean that you have too much paint on your brush. So you might get a paper towel and wipe it off, or you might just scrape it along the edge of um, your container of paint and that will give you more control over where the paint is going, less paint, or maybe it means you need a smaller brush. Try one of those two things before you think to yourself, I am just a horrible painter. Less paint on the brush or maybe a smaller brush. Okay.
more to come.